If you listen to Utopia and your reaction was... I got you. So in this video, I'll show you the Travis Scott Utopia formula. It's too versatile of an album to say that it has a formula, but I'll show you two beats that I made. One is more sample based, kind of like Sirens. The other one is more on my ignorant type shit. So kind of like Meltdown. Coincidentally, they are my favorite songs in the album. Uh, let me know what your favorite from Utopia is. But yeah, let's get into it. First part is the most important bit and that's the sample because this is the most important part spend the most amount of time on this okay whenever i want to find something a bit more underground something that's not been used i use samplet.io and i found this song called oh my imagination by val mckenna sample is so amazing and fits utopia so well i didn't even do anything to it i simply just cut the four bars i pitched it down and now it sounds something like this we have this drum fill at the end happening as well it adds some texture to the to the sample it doesn't get boring it's really good other than that there's no effects on it other than some eq just to cut the lows that's it i added this lead called danger fritz it's from Deft Lines by Contact Play Series. Okay, and then to give it some oomph, I added a piano, but that is literally just playing octaves of the root note of the key of the song. In this case, it's just doing octaves on C sharp. Onto the drums. So basically the sample doesn't have any drums and I kind of want, for the first part of the song, I want dusty old sample drums. But I didn't want to look for another drum break or something like that. So I drummed them myself. So I'm just going to break it down element by element because it gets a bit confusing. So kick and snare. And then we add a tambourine and a pedal hat. Okay, and then the star of the show is the ride and the toms. And to get this old school effect, because without it, it sounds something like this. Ugh. I added thermal, full beat squeeze to add some saturation to the drums. Then RC20, drum break, adjusted it a bit, uh, especially the cutoff filter here and then just a compressor with these settings. In the second half here, I added a chopped up drum break. Before I chopped it, it sounded like this. I added the same drum processing. That's why it sounds like it's from the same drum family, but it really isn't. Together with everything so far, it sounds like this. So then we have a bridge here. I've literally just half timed the loop. I still have kept the lead. And then finally I recorded some vocals. The way I did it was I opened autotune, turned the retune speed to eight. I added this preset, disgusting octaves and humanizes on zero. And now without any effects, what I recorded was. It's literally just me humming. But then I added some effects and there's quite a lot here. We have Porto using Crystalline Ascent preset. That gives it some shape, some movement. Then the Avox Choir makes it a bit like it's a doubled vocal. And then Thermo adds some saturation. And then Valhalla Vintage Verb is adding some extra space to it. So now with all these effects, it's going to sound something like this. Okay, and now in the bridge, we are transitioning to the next beat which happens by using these strings. So I'm literally just playing octaves of the chord progression and it goes something like this. And then at the end, I'm literally just using some uh, orchestral percussion and some brass to accent the transition. And then we go on to some trap drums. Now I'm going to speed run these because there's nothing special about them. We have a clap, snare, another snare. So these are all layered. And then we have a normal hi-hat. An arcade loop, which is instead of hi-hats and it's playing 
to this note. And finally, we're just going to add the kick. And then the 808. In the second half, we add some of the old school drums, basically combine everything, just switch out the drums and add some Star Wars noises. Now, that's the most important bit that I got from Travis Scott's Utopia, add Star Wars noises. So here I got the TIE Fighter kind of flyby. That one. So now with the bridge, I'm just going to play the rest of the beat. And then the second half literally just has some of the acoustic drums. This beat, very simple, but it is so hard just because the sample actually carries. So my advice is spend a lot of time searching for the right sample because that's the most important bit of your beat. So that's about it. Hope you guys liked it. And if you wanna see some more tutorials on how to do dark trap beats, uh, click on the video that is going to be recommended now and yeah uh, stay tuned for the next one hope you guys liked it and yeah see you in the next one